Back in 2018, The Sound of Vinyl put out a four LP box set of reissued KISS solo albums in celebration of that collection's 40th anniversary. As a big KISS fan, I'm looking forward to showing you that box, as well as talking about the albums, some fun facts, and of course, which solo album is my favorite. All of that, coming up. What's in the box? So a few fun facts about these albums. First of all, they were all released on the exact same day, September 18th, 1978. Also, there were picture discs of these albums issued at that time, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, Ace's album spent the most time on the Billboard 200. It spent 23 weeks on that chart. Jeans spent 22 weeks. Peter spent 20. And Paul spent 18 weeks. What's interesting, though, is the sales are a little bit different. Uh, Ace's, of course, did the best. Then Jeans, then Paul's, and then Peter's at the very bottom. Of course, we should talk a little bit about the artwork on these four albums. They are all done by a painter named Araldo Caragatti. He also did the cover for Fly By Night by Rush, just in case you need to know that one. Of course, the only real hit from any of these albums is from Ace Frehley's solo. It's definitely the song New York Groove, which is a cover song. It was originally done in 1975 by Russ Ballard. And speaking of cover songs, Paul Stanley's solo album is the only one of the four to not have one cover tune on it whatsoever. All original music for him. I should mention something that a lot of folks who aren't major KISS fans might not know about these solo albums, chiefly because the KISS branding on the covers is a bit misleading. From a technical standpoint, these really aren't KISS albums. I mean, you have each member on the respective albums, but beyond that, it's outside musicians. I mean, you have everyone from Joe Perry to Cher to Anton Figg on these records, but they're very much solo albums in the strictest sense. So here's what we can expect from the box set. A glossy foiled stamp slipcase, all four solo albums and 180 gram colored vinyl, four 12 by 12 inch replicas of the posters that came with the albums upon their initial release, exclusive turntable slip mat with the four album cover faces, and there were 3,500 box sets released. One thing I'm not sure about is if the original puzzle posters are in these particular reissues, or the printed inner sleeves that came with the originals as well, but I suppose we're going to find that all out together. So with that, let's get to the box. So right away we have some really good detail here. There's a silver foil embossed logo. Uh, with some black on black uh, embossed or uh, shiny uh, kiss faces there. Um, I'm going to open up the plastic just to get a better view of that cover. Being very careful about how I do this. Yeah. It's nice. I like it a lot. You can kind of see the faces there. Also, nice spines. Read that, the solo albums, 40th anniversary. All right, let's open it. So right away we get the slip mat. Very nice. Has the four faces on it, as promised. I'll be trying that one out for sure. Next up is Gene Simmons' solo album. Very nice reproduction of the art there, as well as the back cover does look just like the original. Dedicated to each other, which is fun considering that Gene and Paul weren't getting along with Ace and Peter back then for many reasons. Uh, there is a bit of stuff on here, but it does wipe off. Also, the special guests, there are quite a few of them on Gene's album in particular, but they all have them as well. Let's take a look at what's inside. And it looks like I did get the puzzle posters, which is really nice. Uh, if you don't know, the puzzle posters are just that. Um, all four of them fit together to make one giant puzzle. You can see there's a notch there and there's a little tab there. So, yeah, pretty cool that these are here. Uh, this is part two of the four-part Kiss Mural, as it says up top. So, we'll definitely be... Uh, Check it into that for sure. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, did get the printed inner sleeves. I was hoping for that as well. With the uh, four faces, it's the same thing on both sides, of course. And let's check out the vinyl. 
It's red. That is Jean's color. And uh, I like the reproductions of the Casablanca labels. It does say records and film works, which is era specific. So nice job they did there. Same thing on the other side, of course. So let's get to Paul's. More of that stuff. So Paul's album right here. Flip it over. Pretty much the same. Um, some of the albums had less text on the back than others. Um, again, dedicated to the other three members. Uh, great album. Look what we got here. Of course, the puzzle poster. This is Paul's. Very nice. And of course, the printed inner sleeves are all the same. But this record is purple. It's kind of a purple marble, actually. Labels, of course, match with the faces on them as well. That happened back then as well. Next up is Ace's album. And the back is what we would expect. Again, it's really great that they did the puzzle posters. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe they'd flake out on that. that Universal Music Group specifically. Yeah. Fantastic. And you saw it before, but here it is again. And let's see the vinyl. This one is blue for Ace's color. And the flip side. It's got a little bit of marbling in it, which is kind of nice. And of course, Peter's. I'm glad this stuff actually comes off. And the back. Yeah. Minimalist credits on Peter's. I always notice that. Also, I have no idea who Michael Ben Venga is. Probably someone important in the uh, in the story, the history, if you will. Let's take a look inside. I always like Peter's puzzle quite a bit. They're all pretty seventies looking in a lot of ways. Yeah, nice. If I could just fold them now. And that, which you've seen three times before. And let's take a look at the vinyl. Very nice. Also some slight marbling in there too. Hard to see on camera, but it's definitely there. And the other side. And that's probably it, yep. Now let's take a look at these 12 by 12 posters here, starting with jeans. It's pretty nice. It's a little bit of a matte finish on there. Yeah, nothing on the back. And here's Paul's. Suitable for framing, which is probably the intention. That ace. And there's Peter. Fantastic. And that's my unboxing of the 40th anniversary KISS solo album box set. If you're looking to get your own, they are still available at the time of this recording at the U.S. version of the Sound of Vinyl website. That's at thesoundofvinyl.us. Definitely let me know what you think about this box or about the solo albums in general. Do you think they're just a cash grab? Do you hate them? Do you think whatever? Maybe you like them. Maybe you have a favorite. You should definitely let me know all of that and anything else relevant in the comments below. As for my favorite, it's definitely Paul's. 
I mean, let's be honest, Paul Stanley is the strongest songwriter in Kiss, so that's going to carry over to this record. Also, no cover songs, it's all original material. And this really is the most Kiss-like of the four solo albums, again, because of Paul Stanley's songwriting and how strong it is in his band. And if you dug this video, heck, if you like my metal vinyl collecting videos in general, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and share the video with some friends, especially Kiss friends. They'll love this, probably. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.